Hello again, my fellow listeners. This is Grace Tabuata, and I am here to welcome you back in another episode of ArtCast. In this episode, I will be interviewing yet another 3D art classmate named Jack Brooks. So, since you're in 3D art, what is something that you like to do in this class? Should I take a mask off? Or... Yeah. Okay. Um, personally, I really enjoy working with um, metal and wood. Mm-hmm. I like uh, wood because, you know, it's sort of this, it's sort of therapeutic, I guess, with the, on the lathe, but also you you're, have some anger issues and kind of just kind of, yeah. you know, push the thing and scrape on there. And metal is good because, you know, it's it's hard, but it's also malleable. You have welding, heat, and everything. You can kind of make something grand out of, you know, a bunch of rust. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun for me when I'm working with, with wood and metal. So the next question is, why did you choose to join 3D Art? First joined because I always been pretty good at 3D Art, um, but I've always, but I, ne- I never like worked with, you know. Why is a helicopter interrupting us? Okay, so I always done like drawing and painting and stuff, and but in terms of three dimensions, I've only ever done like clay and things, you know, like elementary school and whatnot, and middle school. Um, so I'd always wanted to try and use like you know machinery, I guess, in mm-hmm. art, and so that's why I joined it first freshman year, and I've kept with it pretty thoroughly, thoroughly into into my junior year now, mm-hmm. um, and I've enjoyed it all. Yeah. Have you been currently working on a certain project? If so, what is it? Uh, yes, I, have, I work on a uh, like a 17 inch tall, um, uh, giant like uh, chess, chess piece. Yeah, chess piece, the yeah. king. Yeah. Uh, for grandeur, I want to put some stuff. I'm going to sand it down and make a little cross thing that glows on top because it's a king. And then I'm going to uh, um, give a good wood stain to it, be dark piece. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I like wood yeah. burns initials on the bottom of it, a yeah. maker's mark. Uh, yeah, I kind of thought it was going to be a knife piece, but yeah. but anyway, of course, what do you, probably takes yeah, more. yeah, but I, it's, it sounds pretty great. Yeah. When you th- what do you think the project is going to be finished? Um, I pretty. Definitely by the before the end of the semester, probably by like December, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. You, know, you can't really rush true art, you know. In my mm-hmm. opinion. That's true. It takes yeah. a lot of time to make something good. Yeah. Do you know what else do you want to do after your current project? Um, I'm thinking metal. I've been, I always want to do a a a, a, a cuirass, which is like a have armor, it's like you know chest and. Mm-hmm. Art. A chest plate? Yeah, I made a lamellar, which is a type of armor um, that was used throughout history by various cultures, from the Byzantines to the Japanese. Um, that's basically a bunch of small metal plates with holes in them that you loop together into a, 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 a cuirass. It's very protective. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like the shoulder pads or something, but it sounds really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Um, no. Wait. How long have you been in 3D art? Since freshman year. Um. Okay. Simple. Been here for a hot minute now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In your honest opinion, what do you think are your strengths and weaknesses in this class? My strengths in my class probably my like creative ability, you know, um, just in general, like being able to make things. My weaknesses would probably be um, like the, the write-ups are kind of either way because they, because it's kind of difficult to like. Like I have the measures in, but also there's a bunch of other requirements. Like you need like associated terms to describe what things are. And sometimes like, what else is there to say with this? It's that thing, you know. That yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. So I explain a you know, mm-hmm. fly to a. I don't know. Yeah. All right. At this, let's see. Um, at this time, what was your hardest work in the class? Uh, no, probably be um, last year I made this uh this sort of. Greek style, like Corinthian type helmet. Although it's probably a uh, rebuke because it's made like of steel. Like a Spartan helmet. Uh, yeah, it's called a Corinthian helm. Mm-hmm. Although since it's made of steel, it's probably more like a rebuke. I know a lot about armor and things um, mm-hmm. out of steel. And that's why it's hard because that was my first like um, foray into metal. Um, yeah, that was. It doesn't fit, but it, it's it's decorative. Um, and then after that, um, my last project of of us junior year production, uh, sophomore year. It was a metal piece of sword, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was a, I guess it's it very, the sword, being a sword was a very like, it's certainly like a, I guess it was introspective, experience. I've since I was little, I've always wanted to be like, I want to make a sword, because <laughs> you know I think they're cool and stuff. And so now I can say, 
eight-year-old me would think I'm awesome. Yeah. And that's really all that matters, you know? But yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see. If, let's see, um, let's see. If you could do a 3D art project on a computer, what would you want to make? And if you want, and this is an only option question, what software would you want to use? I don't know much about software, but definitely like 3D sculpting sounds interesting. Um, like, I've, I, I paint models and stuff, like hit soldiers and things, um, recreationally. And so what I, what I would like to do is like try to make like a, you know, make like one of my own, I guess, kind of. To yeah. print out and then like prime and paint and everything. Probably like a, like a Spartan or something, or a knight or something like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. Like a big monster, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, what advice would you want to give to other 3D art students or students um, who want to join this class? Uh, wear your safety equipment and um, uh, hope your kid's getting dirty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of wood shavings and sparks can get in your hair sometimes. And yeah. I think I still have a few burns on the scalp area. Yeah. Um, but it's worth it for the what you create. Yeah. When you reap what you sow, I guess. Mm -hmm. So. Do you plan to return to 3D art next year? Um, I think I'm going to do 2D art next year. Um, just kind of see something new. Plus, my mom wants me to branch out more, I guess. Um, do you, yeah. Do you think of joining the Art Academy or uh, not? Yeah, I want to do it next year. I, I yeah. My mom told me to join. I, I'd be I'm interested in it. I guess I'll, I kind of want to join it like this year. But then, I'm, I guess I'm a procrastinator to the extreme. So I just kind of put it off asking mm -hmm. until now. Well, apparently, they're... Well, you see, well, since you're a senior, there's a chance that well, you I'm could a... join next year. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and join next year. Yeah, so I'm not putting the good word, I guess. Yep. Do you have any thoughts of attaining a similar art class such as this after high school? Uh, yes. I see. Because I want to get, I want to get more like into metalworking. You know, I got, my my goal is like at one point make like a full set of like clay armor. Mm -hmm. You know, make yeah. it interesting. Um, as well as like more advanced metal sculptures and stuff mm -hmm. that aren't just, you know, rebar and things well together. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, and now for the final question, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate this class? Uh, 10. Alright, that's a that's good perfect class. score. So, well, well, viewers, I guess that's it for today's episode of our cast. Tune in next time for another one. Bye. See you later.